Sneha Jan, we once check if the uh, streaming has started or not because we've got our uh, streaming notification here. No. Ma'am, we are live on YouTube, ma'am. Within 10 seconds, you will be live on YouTube. Actually, we are live on YouTube. Just started, started, yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, it is. It has started. Started. Yes. Savan sir, can I leave this meeting now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. we can start. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome, Shama, ma'am. And uh, I'll be starting with the session. Uh, I hope the screen is visible to everyone. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so welcome. I welcome everyone, uh, the teachers, the students, Shama, ma'am, uh, to the event called Chem Inspire, organized by Dr. Ambedkar College, Diksha Bhumi Nagpur, under the aegis of American Chemical Society, International Student Chapter. Uh, our chapter has had bagged ACS Outstanding Award twice consecutively, and I feel proud to welcome everyone on behalf of our chapter. Uh, Chem Inspire or Chem Fest is organized to uh, develop an interest and awareness about chemistry amongst the students, amongst young students basically, so that uh, they know what all uh, apart from just the chemicals that we hold in our lab, just the chemicals that we react in the lab. Uh, chemistry is more. Chemistry is in our daily life. Chemistry is almost everything. That is the main purpose that we have, uh, that we uh, take forward for in Chem Inspire. I hope that we as a chapter uh, could instinct that and we as a chapter could develop that uh, through this. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll move forward and I request our uh, faculty advisor and head of the department, Dr. Mrs. Deepa Manekar, ma'am, to give you uh, the information or tell you about our chapter. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, uh, Mr. Akhilesh Kumar, sir, uh, from uh, Central School Ajni and uh, Mrs. Shama Yadav, Madam, from Center Point School, and the teachers and the dear students from uh, Center Point School, uh, Kendriya Vidyalaya Achni, Kendriya Vidyalaya Ambasari. It is my utmost pleasure to welcome you all to this ACS Chemistry Festival, Chem Inspire 2020. To begin with, I would like to give some information about our chapter. American Chemical Society which is based at Washington, USA, is the world's topmost and the most prestigious chemical society. It has given international student chapter to Dr. Ambedkar College in the year 2019. There are only two chapters in Maharashtra, 
one is in nagpur that is our chapter and the another is in mumbai and there are overall 14 chapters all over india our acs student uh, chapter members they organize various interesting activities throughout the year while organizing these activities our acs student members they improve their subject knowledge about chemistry and along with that they also get to know the various advancements in chemistry while conducting these various activities acs student members improve their confidence their communication skills their drafting skills their leadership skills problem solving skills etc and most importantly they learn how to transfer knowledge to the society based on our activities american chemical society washington has awarded our chapter as outstanding international student chapter for both the years that is 2019 and 2020 the other chapters which have uh, have received this outstanding award are texas university usa california university louisiana university southeastern university monash university malaysia etc our acs student members they have various advantages of being acs members they can travel to usa to attend various international events and they can also get funding to organize various activities and uh, they uh, have an opportunity of global connectivity through this very prestigious platform acs chemistry festival came inspire 2020 which we have organized this year for school students this is our first initiative and every year we plan to organize this activity henceforth this festival has been organized to explain the chemistry behind various experiments in an interesting way i heartily welcome all of you once again and i hope that you find this chem inspire 2020 festival a very interesting and fun to learn and i hope that you develop a love for chemistry in you thank you all thank you so much ma'am i request all the participants to please uh, keep their mics on mute so that uh, you uh, there is no disturbance from uh, in the background thank you ma'am and i request uh, um, mr Tru mrs trupti sawant uh, ma'am to please come uh, ahead and give us the objectives of our chapter and the festival yes uh, thank you swanima uh, good afternoon ma'am good afternoon students so uh, dear students what do you think of when someone says the word chemistry do you think about the test tubes and glass containers filled with mysterious looking yellow green liquid or do you think of jars of white powders may you think of a scientist wearing a white lab coat mixing things together and watching and watching as the mixture bubble and rumbles chemistry is not limited to beakers and laboratories it is all around us and better we know chemistry the better we know our world chemistry is present in every aspect of life chemical reactions are taking place within our body as well as outside in our natural environment however we may not know about it unless we study or read about them and then understand them Welcome to ACS Chemistry Festival Came Inspire 2020 organized by ACS International Student Chapter Dr Ambedkar College Nagpur So here is your chance to get answers for such questions about why and how Like Mars is red because of iron oxide fermentation that you see in food items is a chemical process many day to day products like cheese burger milk yogurt and hundreds of products of mi milk products are due to the chemical process taking the temperature when we feel feverish using a thermometer is a simple chemical process we do sometimes the mercury in the thermometer rises if the body temperature is high 
we see many vegetables and fruits are strongly colored because they contain a special kind of chemical compound named carotenoids so along with us experience the chemistry through the various hands on virtual activities for understanding the role of chemistry in our daily life our acs student member will demonstrate the various experiments to help the help you to understand the wonderful world of chemistry through the fun filled online session so let's begin our journey and witness the fun and magic of chemistry and fall in love with the beauty of chemistry thank you so much thank you so much ma'am for uh, delivering the objective so beautifully now uh, these are the experiments that we have in our hand for you all for all the participants and the performers of the experiment are also mentioned so please we, we will be doing the experiments in two sections first four and then the second four in after the first four experiments uh, we will be answering the questions you have regarding the experiments that we have shown uh, you can drop your questions in the chat box you don't have to turn your mic on for asking the questions please drop them in the chat box and there uh, from there we will be picking up the questions and answering them please i request again to not turn your mics on after that uh, the next four uh, experiments will be given and the same protocol will be followed uh, and uh, the experiments that we are performing were guided by our faculty and mr heman uh, dr heman pandey sir and we had the technical support of mr ramesh patil sir okay so now i pass on the platform to our president uh, ms neha bhur sir um good afternoon one and all present here um i welcome you all to this uh, event thank you all for your participation now let us begin with the experiments so have you ever imagined to pop a balloon without uh, using a pin or your hand so here is a basic chemistry magic behind this so let's see the magic so here is the video for the experiment now for the final round in the birthday party we have two finalists and both of them have balloons in front of them the one who finishes first wins Okay. How did you make so fast? You need to pick up something. Pick up something. Come on, let's go. Let's go. So for this experiment, we need an inflated balloon and the orange peel. When we squeeze the orange peel on the balloon, the balloon pops immediately. <laughs> So this was the balloon pop magic. Now uh, we have the next experiment that is the Nina bottle. Now everyone uh, wonder that uh, how, I mean, how could uh, if how would we if that uh, the we would we would be able to touch the clouds or we would be we would be able to see the clouds in front of us. So how is it possible? So it is uh, here is the experiment to explain you that. so let us begin with the video Clouds in the jars. 
Like London Highway which really is magic lab, we can have their own journey in the magic lab. What? How is it possible? Come, let me show you. First of all, we need a glass jar with the lid, ice cubes, hot water, hot enough to give weapons, hairspray and blue food color. We pour the hot water into the jar. And add two to three drops of blue food color. It's totally optional. <laughs> Everyone to please move. <laughs> Now spray the hairspray in the jar and quickly close the lid of the jar tight. After eating, you can see that white clouds form inside the jar. Now the clouds are clearly visible in the chart. Wow, it's so beautiful. Angita, do you know the chemistry behind this experiment? Yes, I am giving you a clue that it is about water science. Do you know we need some few things to form these clouds? Firstly, we need moist and warm air, and second, we need coolness of cloud condensation nucleus. This provides something for water vapors to condense onto. A simple stroke of dust is enough to form a cloud condensing nuclear. Here we are using aerosol spray. Mixing warm air from, from hot water with coolness of ice creates water vapor. A water vapor wants to uh, condense onto a surface where it will form a cloud condensing nuclear. That's why we are using air spray. This aerosol spray creates cloud condensation. This creates cloud inside the jar. Water evaporates in the form of water vapor to precipitate back in the form of rain. We hope you enjoyed the experiment. The next we have is the food adulteration. The food we, we which we eat daily uh, consists of the adulterated food mostly. So how to find which food is adulterated and which is not and uh, how to test it. So here is the uh, experiment to explain all these things. So let us begin with the video. Hi, Swarnika. See, what I have got for you. Yeah, can you Yes. Okay, but why does it look like this? What are you adding? I don't know. I have just added some normal ingredients in it. Tell me what it was. I added Vista almond saffron. And I guess that is the problem. How can you say that? I think the saffron is just, um, you know, a little Because saffron generally gives uh, yellow. It is a bit different. Oh, do you want to taste your saffron? Yes, come. Okay, come. Let's go. So come, let's test your saffron now. What we'll yes, do is, come. we'll take the saffron that you gave to me. See, the saffron has started releasing red color. Yes, the saffron is generally adulterated with the red coloring on it. 
which is generally taken from maize. You know the maize uh, tendrils that we have. Yes. That is coloured in red food colouring and given to us as saffron. The pure saffron does not give the colour. See. See, it is not imparting the colour. So now, can can you tell me what all ingredients you can tell if they're in that? Yes. Uh, chilli powder. Uh, black pepper, salt, sugar, etc. Let's do the black pepper then. So for testing black pepper, we'll take a glass of beaker. We'll pour, we'll put some black pepper in it. Now you can see some pepper will float and the rest will settle down. So the pepper which is settled down is a black pepper and the ones that float is adulterated black pepper or papaya seeds. So this was the test for uh, black pepper. So now what should we do next? So now we'll do the test for chili powder. Chili powder. So what we'll do is we'll take a we'll take some water and sprinkle some chili powder over it. And we'll wait for a few seconds. See the chili is instantly settling down. So that means if we if we could also see the red streaks, then that would have meant that our chili is adulterated. Yes. But we are not seeing any red streaks as well as as well as the chili is settling down. That means our chili is pure and it is not adulterated. Yes. Now we'll go for milk. We can also test milk. You know, milk is generally adulterated with detergents. Oh, let's check. So let's check for milk. What we do is if the milk is adulterated. The turmeric with re will react with the milk. See, it has turned red. Yes. The red color indicates that the milk contained detergent. As detergent is base and the turmeric is basic indicator. That is why. We'll see if the other sample of milk also contains detergent or not. See, it did not turn red, which means it was pure. So that is how you can test for various things at our house if they are adulterated or not. So Jamie, just to understand the adulteration, these are the products that we generally eat. So, and these are the things, lipids, protein, nucleic acids that are present in the products that we eat. Now do you know how do they affect us? Yes, advances in qualification of food adulteration are genomics, lipodemics, proteomics, metabolomics, transcriptions and omics approach. Now the causes are health security, bioethics, biotechnological data information. Exactly. So we ask everyone to please check whatever they are eating and follow this chart to stay safe. The next experiment we have is eco battery. Here we will see how we can make the clock work without losing battery. Let us go with the video. I request everyone to please mute uh, their mics. Thank you. Oh no, the clock has stopped working. I think the batteries are dead. I am tired of changing these batteries, but oh, really? I have a solution for this problem. And what is that? I have an idea. You can learn. <laughs> How? It seems to be an impossible task. No, it is possible, my friend. You can learn this clock. By using eco friendly gel. Let us see. Okay, how it works. Show us. In this experiment, we, we require first, first of all, uh, fresh aloe vera roots, connecting wire, table clock, working battery, empty cell, etc. Now we will see the procedure of given experiment. I am sorry I had to stop but there is some nonsense going on in the chat box. Please whoever it is control.
Who is Jadugar and Iron Man? Please tell us. There are a lot of teachers and many students who are really wanting to see this. So I request for you to stop that and concentrate on the videos. Please do not pass any wrong comments. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, you can remove them from the meeting. Ma'am, the thing is, if I could remove them, but uh, they can rejoin on their own. But we must okay. remove them. Okay, sure. Just remove them, and after that, uh, we will see. We'll see. Okay. Extract aloe vera gel from aloe vera in a beaker. We require an empty seal pour this aloe vera gel in it. Then take this carbon rod and keep it inside the same. Then close the cap. Now the circuit of the given cell is complete. Now our cell of aloe vera is made. This cell look like that. Then keep this cell in the watch. And see, the clock will start running. Wow, this is amazing. I am so happy to see it. It means that we can charge, we can run clock with the help of aloe gel also? Yes. And this is the eco-friendly way to run clock with the help of aloe vera and it is economically cheaper. Thank you. Thank you. The chemistry behind this experiment is here aloe vera gel acts as an electrolyte after applying external charge. Exchange of iron takes place. Inside the cell as a result microcurrent is generated in the cell. As a result, this clock start working. So here, aloe vera gel act as a conductive medium. And mother, you want to say that we can reuse any batteries without harming our environment. Also, it is ecologically good and economically inexpensive. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, now I request everyone to drop their questions in the chat box. Uh, I'll give you a minute or so. Drop them in the chat box and uh, uh, my teammate, uh, Ms. Ankita Khonde, will be uh, giving us whatever questions you have. Please do not unmute yourself and ask the questions. Please drop them in the chat box. Ma'am, I'm sorry, I had to unmute. There is no option for us to... Oh, I just saw the option. There was no option to send in everyone for a few seconds. Uh, I have off, kiya tha. now it is on. You can do it. Thank you, sir.
बच्चे आप सिद्धि जजोदिया आप जो मेरे को मैसेज कर रहे हैं ना वो प्राइवेटली आ रहा है मेरे को डू इट फॉर एवरी वन सो दैट एवरी वन कैन रीड इट सॉरी मैम एंड तमन्ना चड्डा आप भी Ankita, do we have enough questions? Huh? Bilkul. Okay. So we shall. Ankita, start. please take uh, questions from YouTube also. There are some questions coming uh, on the link also. Okay, ma'am. So shall I start? Okay. Ankita, you can start. Yes, sir. So, first question, Adya wants to ask that: Are there any other fruits that we can use to burst the balloon? Okay, Adya, like you read, I mean, like in the activity it was shown, it is the compound limonin that makes the balloon burst or make the balloon pop. So, what happens is that limonin is present in the covering or the peel of uh, uh, citrus fruits the, that is orange uh, lemon and jo apna tangerine which is mosambi to unke uh, cover mein wo present hota hai to what happens is jo citrus fruits hote hain unke peel ko jab aap squeeze karte ho tab usse limonene release hota hai jis wajah se balloon burst hota hai to what happens ki uh, jab aap uh, uh, limonene squeeze karte ho तो लेमोनिन डिग्रेड्स द सरफेस और उस वजह से बलून पॉप होता है ये सबसे ज्यादा प्रेजेंट होता है सबसे ज्यादा अमाउंट में इस इट इज प्रेजेंट इन ऑरेंजेस फिर उससे कम अमाउंट में इट इज प्रेजेंट इन लेमन्स एंड कैंजरे सो आई से कि यू शुड गो विद ऑरेंजेस इफ यू वांट टू परफॉर्म इट एट होम एंड मेक श्योर योर बलून इज इन्फ्लेटेड वेरी वेल ओके सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विहान वांट्स टू आस्क दैट कैन ऑल सिट्रस फ्रूट्स बर्स्ट बलून Uh, not the citrus fruit, but the peel of the citrus fruit can. Okay. Next, Adya again wants to ask that can we make the color of the clouds different than white? Okay, <laughs> the question is very interesting. But uh, uh, what happens is that the steam ka color hota hai na, uska color nahi change kar sakte ab. Either you'll have to use a different kind of spray for that, but hair spray use karna zaruri hai uske liye. तो द स्टीम कलर को चेंज करना इज अ बिट ऑफ अ टास्क उसके लिए आपको मतलब आई गेस यू हैव टू सर्च द इंटरनेट क्या होता है ना कि जब आप वाटर किसी भी कलर को डाल के वाटर गर्म करोगे तो उसकी स्टीम व्हाइट ही आती है तो द कलरफुल क्लाउड्स इज नॉट पॉसिबल थ्रू दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट ओके एंड तमन्ना वॉन्स टू आज दैट आर द इको फ्रेंडली बैटरी रिचार्जेबल Yes, eco-friendly batteries can be rechargeable, but they have certain, मतलब they have certain life. We can recharge it. हम उनको recharge कर सकते हैं, लेकिन उनकी life ज़्यादा दिन नहीं है. So there are some drawbacks and uh, research needed in this field. So Adya, come and if you possible, come to and join us in chemistry in future. and we will do research on this field thank you okay um ashita wants to uh, actually she did not get the principle of eco batteries so harshal can you please explain it again the principle yes, of eco battery ashita actually 
we it is simple concept uh, our human body needs uh, certain types of uh, elements from uh, metals uh, like potassium sodium calcium uh, for our body so aloe vera basically is one type of plant so that uh, connect uh, collect that metals from soil itself and when we add that uh, pulp in that shell of zinc and we put carbon rod in that so that metal when we apply uh, outer electric field with the help of battery so ion exchange of ions takes place and that aloe vera gel act as a conductive medium and as, or electrolyte so ions can exchange because of that some micro current are produced so uh and we apply that battery to clock then clock starts to run that's all okay uh siddhi jajodia wants to uh, actually she has some query that is it it dangerous to open a cell cause inside it there are more than three chemicals so harshal what do you want to say about this yes you have to open battery carefully but under the guidance of your teachers or means uh, or person that no chemicals or chemical uh, education under their guidance you can do it thank you okay so i'm so up okay uh, thank you ankita now we'll move on okay who loves ice cream there is no one who does not love ice cream i guess and what if we could make ice cream without freezers that will be a task but it is possible so let's see this may i say like having ice cream or i am kidding you know the current corona situation and in this situation how can we go out for eating ice cream Okay, so let's try. Okay. 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 Okay
want, you can also have some uh, chocolate sauce over it. Also have the place of chocolate. Come, let's enjoy. So here, our homemade ice cream is ready. Do you want to know how we froze the ice cream without freezer? Yes, obviously. So first, we know that the freezing point of pure water is zero degrees Celsius. But when we add salt to the water, its freezing point decreases. That is because of the salt present in water. It helps the temperature to decrease to minus 10 degrees Celsius. Oh, really? Oh, yes, it does. And because of that, the flat globules present in milk also freeze. That's why the making of the ice cream catalyzes. So that is how you can enjoy your own ice cream at home, which is safe in this situation. Yes. Okay, we know that if we throw an egg, it might burst. Well, if it might, it will obviously burst. It is fragile. But some of our friends manage to make it bounce. Let's see. Amita, can you make an egg bounce? Does a regular egg bounce? No, it's very fragile. It will break quickly. But after boiling the egg, it becomes solid enough. Yeah, but I was wondering that what if I want to see inside the bit of boiling and breaking it, then we must have to know from what does the shell of the egg is made up of. Egg shell is made up of calcium carbonate. Hmm, chemistry here. That means we must have to dissolve the egg shell. Hey, idea. Acid dissolves base. Oh, great, Chandi. Then we must have to try acid, but which acid should we use? I think we should make vinegar or lemon juice because it dissolves egg quickly. Oh, let's try it. We will need an egg, jar, and vinegar. First, fill the glass jar with vinegar. Almost up to half jar. And carefully soak the egg in the vinegar. And cover the lid of the jar and leave for two days. Remove the egg and rinse gently under the tap. Or water. Now you can see the egg is totally transparent and it's bouncing. Tanvita, do you know the chemistry behind this experiment? Tanvi, have you noticed that the size of egg enlarged? Yes, that's because of osmosis. The egg becomes bouncing during the chemical reaction of vinegar with calcium carbonate. You know the vinegar and calcium carbonate of the eggshells are reacting because of the small bubbles that forms around the egg when it is placed in the vinegar. These small bubbles are CO2 gases which are results in the reaction between calcium carbonate and vinegar. Once the shell of the egg dissolves, the egg left with the outer coating of the thin membrane. So after soaking in the vinegar, once the shell of the egg dissolves, the egg left with the outer covering of the thin membrane. So after soaking in the vinegar, you should have also noticed that the egg increases in the size. This is because the water in the vinegar are entering the egg through the membrane, moving from higher water concentration in the vinegar to the lower water concentration in the egg. The membrane of the egg is selectively permeable. That means it allows some substances to pass through the membrane while other cannot. Osmosis is a process by which water enters the tissue. Cells are surrounded by the cell membranes that selectively allows an energy the cell needed but prevents unwanted solution from entering. And when we never works on the cell membrane, it toughens up the membrane of egg, making it bouncy. Okay, now we know trying to enjoy the uh, volcano feels at home. Our uh, members have come up with this volcano that you can make at home and enjoy. Yes, I do. Dan Volcano in Philippines awoke from 43 years of quiet on January 12, 2020 and 
spew a lot of gases, ash, and lava into the air. Yes, Yes, but uh, have you ever seen a light bulb kind of erupting? No. Yes, but for now, that is not possible. So, let us try making a whole wall down for ourselves and see if light erupting. So, let's go. So, for this experiment, we require some beakers. And spatula, dropper, vinegar solution, baking soda, red food color, yellow food color, a funnel, and some soap solution. So now, to start with the experiment, first we will put color in the vinegar solution. Now, we will add few drops of yellow food color in the solution. This food colors are used in the experiment to give it a more attractive look for, for the lava. Now, we will add 4 spoons of baking soda to the volcano. As you can see here, you can use this volcano setup for the experiment or also you can use a simple plastic bottle for the experiment. Here we have used this volcano setup which is having the plastic bottle inside it. Now as we will add some soap solution to the plastic container. Now vinegar will be added to the plastic container and in few seconds you will see the lava coming out of the plastic container. This is a concept of natural indicators. You must be familiar about it. Uh, you, you have studied about it, but this is something that you can try at home and I bet you'll love it. Hi, how was the function yesterday? Yeah, yesterday was 
healthy function and see what happens. I tried to wash it with detergent, but it's completely ruined. I'm sorry for you, but don't you remember that turmeric is a basic indicator? I remember, but uh, okay. So I tell you the, the basically when healthy is put into the detergent, the basic thing it turns red. So that's why I'm not doing it. But I can explain it to you. You want? Yes, sure. So, like you said, now I'll show you how it reacts. What we'll do is we'll take it. This is the cloth covered with turmeric, like from your healthy function. Now, what we'll do is we'll take some detergent solution and pour into it. See, it has immediately turned red. So, this means that turmeric reacts in alkaline medium. Here, alkaline medium was the detergent. Do you know other natural indicators? Yes, I remember. Like beetroot, red cabbage, curry powder, hibiscus. So, can we do some indicators <laughs> here? Do you have any idea? Yeah, I have idea about beetroot. Okay. First, you have to take beetroot juice. Okay. And add two drops of lemon juice. Two drops of lemon juice. Red color, right? Yes. It is lighter than the beetroot pigment itself. Beetroot also reacts with base, right? Yes. We take some beetroot solution, one to two drops are enough, and then we'll take the alkaline detergent solution. See, the color has changed to purple from maroon. We also have red cabbage. Okay. So we'll test for red cabbage now. What we'll do is we'll take a container and we'll pour some red cabbage juice. How will we prepare red cabbage juices? What we do is we take red cabbage leaves and we put them in lukewarm water and let them soak overnight. So after that we get this colored pigment. So now with acid, you can see it turns a little lighter pink. You can see you can compare. It is more yes. pink. This is more pup purple. So with acid, red cabbage reacts and turns pink. Now we'll do it for base. What we'll do is we'll take another sample of red cabbage pigments. And then we'll pour some detergent solution. See? It has immediately wow. turned green. So this is the reaction of red cabbage with acid and base. With acid, it turns pink and with bases, it turns green. This is so interesting. Yes, we have more uh, natural indicators like curry powder and tomato which show various reactions with this. So Shriya, do you, do you have an idea about the PSK? <laughs> yes, I do have an idea about it, but let's see. So the PSK means the concentration of H plus I. Now, acid, acids are substances that release H plus ions when dissolved in water, while bases or alkaline are substances that release OH minus ions when dissolved in water. So, this is a pH scale, which is a uh, number from 0 to 14. 0 being the most acidic and 14 being the most basic. While 7 is the neutral, where we, these are not uh, neither considered as acidic nor basic. When a substance is put on the pH paper, it can give uh, colors ranging from red to the purple. The color with the number indicates their pH. As you, as you saw, when the red cabbage reacted with acid, it gave the color light pink. While when it reacted with base, it gave the colors towards the greener side, which means the bases show green color when reacted and the acids show <laughs> Okay. Uh, 
those were the eight experiments that we had uh, listed out for you now i request ankita to please uh, take the questions or the queries that the students have yes so first question that how much salt to use in 1 liter water for ice cream okay for if you uh, if you're taking ice i guess for 1 liter ice 1 to 1 and a half cup of salt is enough you don't want to over it because uh, change utna nahi jitna salt uh, dalo ke utna neeche aayega temperature aisa nahi hota hai to 1 to 1 and a half cup of salt is enough for 1 liter of ice okay uh, next question how to how to change the color of ice cream that is <laughs> okay that is a very innocent question actually uh, aap ice cream ka color फूड कलरिंग डाल के चेंज कर सकते हो बट अगर फ्लेवर चेंज करना है तो हर एक फ्लेवर के असेंसेस आते हैं आप वो डाल सकते हो चाहो तो आप क्रश्ड फ्रूट्स भी डाल सकते हो दैट इज आल्सो अ गुड ऑप्शन टू मेक इट मोर हेल्दी तो यू कैन डू एनी फ्लेवर ओके एंड नेक्स्ट वन हाउ वी कैन मेक द मॉडल ऑफ वॉल कैन ओके नेहा यू वांट टू आंसर हां यस यस डेफिनेटली Uh, for making the volcano model first we will require the waste cardboard a waste cardboard sheet or a waste cardboard box in that we have to first put a layer of sand at the bottom and on top of the layer of the sand uh, we have to keep the plastic bottle basically we are we will be adding the baking soda and vinegar to this plastic bottle so on the top of the sand layer we have to keep the plastic bottle and with the help of newspapers we have to make the shape of the volcano and stick it with use of pevicol and water and after that you can paint it with different colors and uh, let it dry for one day and there is your volcano model ready okay uh, next question uh, vihan wants to ask that how did the eggshell dissolve in vinegar so ankita you take up the question uh, you take okay. up okay सो हेयर ना एक्शल जो होता है वो कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट से बनता है एंड अपन विनेगर यूज कर रहे हैं विनेगर इज एसिड एंड कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट इज बेस एसिड डिजोल्व बेस दिस इज द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट है दैट्स वाई विनेगर ने क्या किया कि एक्शल को डिजोल्व कर दिया इस वजह से वो ट्रांसपेरेंट हो गया ओके ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आद्या वॉन्ट्स टू आस्क does the variation of the amount of baking powder vinegar and soap solution anyway impacts the eruption or do the amount need to be same this is for all can actually okay so the amounts doesn't need to be same uh, the amounts are different for uh, baking powder vinegar and soap solution uh, here we have used 4 spoons of baking powder and to that we are adding uh, nearly 250 ml of vinegar so it the amount of vinegar will depend on the size of the bottle which you use so half a bottle of vinegar whichever bottle you use half the amount of vinegar and soap solution is added in a very little amount just to give it a foam base okay so here it is okay uh are we done with the questions right yes okay great great Okay, moving on. We have a little surprise for all the participants that we have, but there are rules for the surprise that that I have for you. Uh, the surprise is, I hope everyone has watched the videos that we showed carefully, and I hope everyone know कि क्या दिखाया था वीडियो में. Uh, we can test it. We have a way to test it. Okay, we have a quiz, a small quiz, a really small quiz for everyone, all the participants. But the condition for the quiz is uh, to answer the question. First of all, you have to keep your just the videos on, not the mics, just the videos on. Uh, my uh, colleague Ankita Khonde will be asking you the question orally, and you have to drop the uh, you have to drop your name. in the chat box just your name and the first three names to come up in the chat box will be asked the uh, will be asked to answer if you are not quick you won't be uh, getting the chance to deliver the answer but if you are quick you will be getting the chance to deliver the answer i'll be stopping the sharing of the slide abhi 
बिकॉज वो कैसे फिर इट बिकम्स इजियर फॉर मी टू जज तो स्नेहा विल बी सींग अगर तीस सेकेंड में किसी का भी नाम नहीं आता है तो विल बी गिविंग आप दी क्वेश्चन विल बी मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन नहीं है तो ऐसे मत सोचना कि बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन है तो हम आंसर दे देंगे uh some questions will be there and you have to write your name remember your name in the chat box pehle teen naam jo aayenge hum unhi se answer puchhenge bakiyon se answer nahi pucha jayega so be quick uh now passing on the platform to ankita konde okay so first question shall start yes okay my first question what is the freezing point of water Okay, 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 okay. Oh my God. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. First was Siddhi, then Vrind, then then Harshit. Okay. Come on, then. Tell one by one. Siddhi. Zero degree Celsius. Okay. Next, who's next one? Ah, uh, Vrind. Um, Vrind. The freezing point of water is zero degrees Celsius or thirty-two degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Next. Yes, I'm the same. Harshit. Yes, ma. It is zero degree only. Okay. Okay. So, next question that. Which acid should we use instead of vinegar to dissolve the shell of the egg? I will repeat. Which acid should we use instead of vinegar to dissolve the shell of the egg? I guess it is. Come on, hurry up. We have Samaira. We have Neev and Rishab. Okay, no one else. Okay. Samaira, Neev, and Rishab. Yeah, acetic acid. Okay. Okay. Neev. Acetic acid. I was also thinking that. Last one. Acetic acid. So vinegar and okay. acetic acid. Exactly, both are same, na? Vinegar and acetic acid, both are same. Actually. No, but vinegar is a diluted version of acetic acid, which is why it is edible. What is what is the the question was what other than vinegar? Other Mom, than can vinegar, I tell? Okay. Mom, can I? Mom, hydrochloric acid. Okay, but don't you think that it is much more acidic? Hydrochloric acid is it available at your home? Something you know, lemon know. juice. It's it said lemon juice and okay, vinegar. Okay, good, good. Who's this? Who's this? He's me. Okay, good, 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 good. You are correct. You are correct. Okay. So next question. That um, what are the examples of natural indicators? What are the examples of natural indicators? You have to name three. We have Vihan, yeah, at we least have three, Vihan and we have Anushka. Okay, then Vihan, tell. Come on, hurry up. Vihan, you lose your chance. Yes. Okay, next. Uh, Anushka. radish sorry sorry radish radish okay and mom can i get a chance gunjan yes of course yes. mom uh, we need to name any three no yes yes mom turmeric hmm red cabbage okay. and beetroot good very good very mom good. but you said this first three will get the chance Yes, but they are not answering, na. Then what should we do? Mom, you picked up last three. Yeah, I had uh, written my name and I guess the third place. Yes, ma'am, and I had written my name on the fourth place. Oh. Okay, we have more questions. You will get exactly. another chance for that. Okay, next question. 
which metal used in electrical wires at our homes i will repeat which metal used in electric wires at our homes nikhil laksh and sia the first three okay okay nikhil come on tell your answer yes ma copper okay next my home also copper wires are used okay next sia copper sia good okay. good good i will just write down sorry there in the middle we can use Ma'am, it was my turn to answer. Um, the first three which we selected were, as I said, the names, because I have seen the chat box, and the first three were those which I said. So, and they had given the answer actually. Ha, yes. So, next yes, question. Yes, only the first three. Next question: What is the temperature of volcano? natural volcano i am asking about natural volcano what is the temperature of natural volcano shreshta par parvi and siddhi siddhi so shreshta tell your answer ma'am it is 600 to 12000 uh, 1200 degrees okay, okay. parvi Ma'am, I think it's one thousand seven hundred, one thousand one hundred seventy degrees Celsius. Okay, next. Who's the one thousand one hundred seven? Uh, one thousand one hundred seventy degrees Celsius. Okay, all the same. <laughs> okay. So... Are you sure you are not searching Google for this? I doubt. <laughs> no, exactly. No, ma'am. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Same without any mistake. Okay, last one, uh, last question. Um, in the structure of rubber, which bond will break after adding limonene on it? After dropping limonene on it, which bond will break? Shreesta. Yes, ma'am. The balloon. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Come on, ma'am. Which bond? Which bond will break in the rubber? Okay. Next, Adya. Yes, ma'am. Hydrogen bond will break. Okay. Hydrogen. No. Are you sure hydrogen will break? Does the rubber contain hydrogen, or does that make it happen? We just told you in the experiment. If you have watched it carefully, we have yeah. told about the bond also. The name of the bond we have told you already. If you have watched carefully, you might be knowing. Shubhangi, yes. Is it interfering? Is it interfering molecule? No, uh, we just want the name of the bond. Water bond. No. Water कहाँ से आ गया रबर में बच्चे? Ma'am. What the name? Polymer. Rubber is a polymer. That is true. But bond concept नहीं करते. One more chance. फिर उसके बाद कोई एक last हम एक से पूछेंगे उसके बाद हम बता देंगे answer. It was a bond between two atoms. What? One more atom cells. Last chance, jaldi. This is the last question. Is it yes. a carbon bond? Sorry, no. Carbon bond? No. Carbon bond. No, better. Okay, I'll count till five. Abi, answer de diya to de diya. One, we'll moving on. Take care. One. Kanav. Kanav. Ha, Kanav. Lakshita. Lakshita. Okay. Man, maybe keton. No, better. Lakshita. Lakshita last. Okay. Lakshita. Ma'am, UV radiations. 
हो हो नहीं नहीं ओके द बॉन्ड बिटवीन टू सल्फर्स दो सल्फर के बीच में जो बॉन्ड होता है सल्फर बॉन्ड ब्रेक होता है तो बलून बर्स्ट हो जाता है लेमोनिन की वजह से ठीक है सो द आंसर इज सल्फर बॉन्ड ओके सल्फर सल्फर बॉन्ड यस ओके ओके फॉर नाउ थैंक यू अंकिता for the uh question answer round now I, i request sneha president of the chapter to please deliver the vote sneha please uh, is uh, put the feedback link yes, yes for what of also students uh, i am uh, putting the feedback link in the chat box uh i request everyone to please fill the feedback form and let us know how did you feel about our event the uh, the feedback link is in the chat box okay okay um uh, a very good afternoon to one and all present here I am Neha Bursi, President of ACS International Student Chapter, Dr. Ambedkar College, Diksha Bhumi, Nagpur. Feels an immense pleasure to deliver the vote of thanks for this event to all the dignitaries assembled here. Gratitude is the healthiest of all human emotions. The more you express gratitude for what you have, the more likely you will have even more to express gratitude for. So, first of all, I would like to thank Dr. Heman Pandey, sir, advisor of this event. for guiding us throughout the experiments and for collaborating with acs chapter for conducting this activity i would also like to extend my special gratitude to the principal of center point school shilpi ganguli ma'am coordinator shama yadav ma'am and the teachers anu sood mausami chatterjee soma date shanu mathews asavari chotiwale and principal of kv ajni mrs k sujata ma'am and coordinator mr akhilesh kumar also principal of kv ambazari mr bd raut a teacher is a compass that activates the magnets of curiosity knowledge and wisdom in the pupils so a very sincere thanks to dr mrs deepa panikar ma'am head of the department and faculty advisor for being the catalyst that inspired us to do our best and stood as a pillar of pa with deep sense of appreciation i would like to thanks dr ratnadeep savant sir faculty co advisor Mr Parag Pansa sir coordinator and Mr Umesh Patel sir for guiding us through the entire event and for their untiring efforts thank you parents and kids our sincere gratitude goes out to all the parents and well wishes for your rock solid support system and encouragement without your support the children would not be able to excel thank you very much for joining this event this type of incident cannot happen overnight the wheels started moving about a week ago it required planning and birds eye for details we have been fortunate to be supported by a team of very active de- and dedicated members of our organization i lack words for their appreciation and the willingness to complete tasks beyond their comfort zone i also want to thank the people who worked behind the scene to execute this event especially the technical arrangement team once again i would like to say that we are most grateful to all of you We thank you for being with us. It was a great pleasure. Thank you so much. Take uh, one to direct uh, feedback from the students. Yes, मतलब if anyone wants to share their feedback, सभी यहाँ पे orally, please you are most welcome and we'll have utmost pleasure to listen to you. Just unmute yourself, anyone, uh, and just yourself. talk about the program. Yeah. Please. Uh, can I speak? Can we speak? Yes, Ashi, please. uh i uh, though i couldn't answer the questions but it was very interesting and i hope i also get a chance to do like this and uh, and i uh, i now i have get, i've got a lot interest in chemistry and i'll work my hardest to do chemistry uh, after 3 years that's good that's that's yeah, wonderful that's thank you so wonderful yes bachcha please I find chemistry very dangerous because of high sodium base. But now I just literally find them very interesting. Thank you so much. Well, that's great, Tavanna. Great, great, great to know that. That's our objective to make you mm. come out of your fear of chemistry. And that's. Ma'am, can I speak? Can I speak? 
Yes, please, please go ahead. It is one of the best chemistry shows or some explanations I've ever attended in my life. I would love to join something like this again. Thank you. Don't forget our college fair. Thank Ambe. you so much. We Ambe will be conducting college. these activities every year. Every year. You will get a chance next year also to attend this program. And hopefully we will come to your school with many more such experiments. Yeah. Due to this Corona situation, we are taking it online. Manna, we could have meet you. We could have interacted. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. Anyone else who wants Yes, to... can I speak? Yes, sure, please. <clears throat> I have just heard about chemistry that it is very interesting and we can do a lot of things and a lot of knowledge we can gain. But after seeing this, I'm not uh, I'm itching to do this right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> we would like to have you in our ACS chapter. Yeah, <laughs> Rind. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, bache. Ma'am, actually, for a minute I left the meeting, so I don't know why everyone is writing submitted Achha, okay. in the chat box. So it's a Google form. Yeah. Feedback link. Feedback. Yeah, it's a feedback link. I'll send it and send it again. This is the. Yes, yes, I got it. Yes. Yeah, just feel it. Good evening, ma'am. Even I would like to express my thanks, oh, madam, for making <laughs> this event the initiative taken by Himan Pandey sir, Dr. Deepa Panekar, to reaching the initiative taken to reach out to us uh, to make this possible uh, through virtual platform. Although, but then I can definitely see that children have thoroughly enjoyed. and you have inspired these young minds and uh, your love for the subject is getting passed on to the children and they are getting inspired so this is how the fraternity grows so thank yes, you yes, for organizing and arranging this thank you yes yes thank you thank you madam for your support and uh, yes informative session very informative session and all the efforts and the pains taken by your students by you by your entire team is really commendable thank you so thank much you, Shima, thank, thank you shima ma'am thank you ma'am thank you ma'am we would like to have more such activities for students you just yeah. let me know what we can do for students so that they get interest in chemistry sure okay. thank you there are some amazing comments coming in the chat box also that it feels like harry potter film yeah oh, yeah <laughs> yeah this is truly yes. magical yeah thank you so much thank you adya thanks it means a lot very Hard work uh, good students madam uh, they uh, uh, they went through all the experiments and they learned many things and uh, they uh, interacted very well in question answer session also and uh, um, excellent comments we got from students and uh, uh, next year we will plan uh, we will collaborate for uh, uh, more such activities for students yes ma'am we will be looking forward to yes ma'am harry potter was ima is imaginary and these experiments were really had so to your pets yeah <laughs> yeah it's so wonderful to get this comments from all of you students we have been my chapter has been working very hard since uh, uh, at least one month and they were uh, collecting all the information about the experiments and uh, we, they were practicing the experiments Uh, there were uh, practice sessions for the videos shoot also and uh, there were some technical uh, problems but then we got through all these problems and getting this comments from all of you uh, means a lot to all of us thank you so much and uh, um, just remember that acs uh, uh, international student chapter at ambedkar college is uh, um uh, there 
and you can contact us and if you have want to house many such activities we can surely plan together in future so that you get to know many such experiments which you can perform at home and you can apply this knowledge to the various happenings around us you can get to know the various advancements in chemistry how chemistry is helping society at different levels all these things you can understand in a very simplified language you don't have to uh, think about the big big structures chemistry uh, uh, has and uh, the hazardous nature of the chemicals and the vapors which you get to uh, see and uh, 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 smell of these chemicals chemistry uh, is uh, having many wonderful applications in our day to day life and uh, in the various technology so you can understand chemistry by simple experiments like this which we our students have performed today it will be understanding uh, it will be very interesting if you understand the basic mechanism behind this what is happening now in all these reactions so you can apply this uh, to various other reactions and various projects so chemistry festival will be there every year and uh, uh, next year uh, we will be having an offline event where you will be getting many such projects you can uh, interact with the students you can ask questions you can perform yourself also our earlier plan was that we will ask students to perform this experiments we will tell them how to do this experiments and we will uh, ask them to perform this experiments that we couldn't do this year but next year you yourself can perform this experiments definitely yeah over to you swarnima thank you ma'am thanks a lot thanks a lot for the responses thank you for the team thank you kshama ma'am uh, thank you everyone i could not i cannot thank all the teachers my teachers your teachers all the <laughs> teachers and all the students it it was an amazing session it was amazing to have you all i could interact with you all see you all and it was just so interesting and just so nice thanks a lot i conclude the session here we'll be meeting i hope we'll be meeting soon through different yes and and definitely next year uh so thanks a lot and i conclude the event you with it now thank you so much and do try the experiments at home and definitely tell us through your teachers through anyone and definitely tell us how did you feel after performing those by your hands thank you so much thank you kshama yadav madam and thank you akhilesh kumar sir he couldn't see us he is on youtube there okay and uh, thank you all thank you ma'am thank you thank you ma'am sornima yadav